If you're reading this letter, then it must be true. In a couple of hours, we'd be both saying I do. The day that seemed like a fantasy has finally arrived. I can't believe we're finally doing this. We're finally getting married. We traveled to so many countries together, hiked some dangerous paths, discovered new cultures, and learned interesting histories, and now we, here we are, about to embark on yet another exciting adventure together in Jamaica. I can't wait to marry you, baby. I love you so much. See you soon. To my bride on our wedding day, baby, you always tell me I don't give you roses anymore. I always hated them because they died the next day. However, how about a real rose that will last forever? An enchanted rose, just like the classic fairy tale Beauty and the Beast. This represents my undying love for you. You are the person who gives the meaning to my life. I will love you truly forever and a day. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, baby. I'll be there to accomplish your dream of traveling the world. I'll be there to encourage you to finish school. I'll be there in times of trouble. Although I'm not built like Superman, I'll be your Superman. I will love you with all my heart, to have forever, never to part. Yours truly, Ron Marino. <laughs> Every time I witnessed a wedding, I don't know why, but I have this feeling at the back of my mind that someday my only daughter will be married too. You see, Erin is the only girl in the family born on New Year's Day. She is my little doll and will always be my little princess. Even when she was a kid, I'm always telling her one thing, that someday I would like to see her walking down the aisle. That's my only wish, and she promised me that also. From the bottom of my heart, thank you in dying. No. <laughs> thank you in dying for making my wish and your promise come true. I also would like to thank Ron for the love and respect he showed to me. Because you know guys, before he proposed to Erin, he, he called me first and asked my blessing. We'll never forget that Ron. For as long as you live, it's really a big deal to us, you know. Um, I wanted to uh, congratulate the both of you for taking one of the biggest steps in life to get married. Congratulations. I don't really have much to say, but to Ron, welcome to the family. Um, thank you for being there beside her through ups and downs, for not giving up, and for supporting her excel in life. I know uh, this is the only second time that we have met, but on those times I saw my baby sister happy and complete. Welcome ladies and gentlemen for coming to share on this happy occasion with Erin and Ron. The fact that you're here is a good indication of the amount of love and support they have as they take this very important journey together. So welcome, welcome, welcome one and all. And I believe the bride and groom deserves a big round of applause. My advice to you, my brother-in-law, is to start counting down on spoiling her. Trust me, you'll save some money. <laughs> and to my only baby sister, growing up, I was your best friend, your kuya, and also a father to you. Um, my weakness is to never say no, 
But I'm thankful because I want to get out of my hands now. So I'm free, you know. <laughs> There is no such thing as a perfect marriage. You know, uh, there will always be bumps on the road. However, learn from it, grow from it, and fight for it. And when I say fight for it, always remember the reason why you guys took the vow. You are one in a million. You're beautiful, you're silly, you're intelligent. Your laugh is contagious and you can eat strawberry and Nutella like nobody else can. You know my strengths and, and accept my faults. You make me want to be a better person every day. I take you as you are now, tomorrow and for eternity to come to be my wife. So today I promise to always see you with the same eyes and the same heart that I see you with at this exact moment. Even when the day comes that we're old and gray, I vow to respect you. I vow to laugh with you and comfort you during the times of joy and times of sorrow. I promise to cut your strawberries and heat up your Nutella whenever you're craving for it. I promise to always pursue you, to fight for you, and love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. Ron, my love, ever since I met you, I knew you'll be someone special in my life. I'd be lying if I say we started out perfect. But despite of all the past baggages, the attitudes, and the craziness of life, God has another plan for both of us. I stand here before you, surrounded by our loved ones, to let you know that I can't promise a perfect marriage because we're both humans who tend to make a lot of mistakes. I can't promise a perfect tomorrow either, but I do vow to always be here for you and to always make you happy and to make you laugh as much as I could because your laugh honestly brightens up my day. I vow to go through storms with you, to pray, dream, and build life with you. I vow my everlasting devotion, my loyalty, and respect you for the rest of our days. Of course, I promise to love you unconditionally against all odds. Ron, I'm yours forever and always. All that I am now and all that I'll ever be. I can't wait to tackle more adventures with you. This by far will be the greatest adventure yet. I love you so much with every beat of my heart. By the joining of hands, it's my pleasure to pronounce you this day, husband and wife. You may now kiss your wife. Uh.